Welcome back to another video, especially Freedom here. I'm going to go over a what sold video. Why is this important to you? Why should you be watching? This helps you show me show you what is selling for me. So that way you can maybe pick it up for the same price, make the same profit, something like that, or at least know the brand type. So that way maybe you can find it while you're out thrifting. So I'm going to show what sold and where it sold because that does matter. And I'll explain that a little bit later. So first off, we're going to go over into the AM. Pretty awesome shirt. Never had actually heard of this brand. I don't know if it's an actual brand or if it's more like a Teespring or something like that, but this one sold. So I picked this up for $2 and it sold for $14 within five days. So I don't know if in the AM is like a happening thing or if this is a happening design, but I can say space and galaxy type of shirts do really well for me. So just something to be on the lookout for. Next up, we have an Eddie Bauer. So Eddie Bauer is not something I normally pick up anymore. Uh, it's not really doing as well as it used to. I mean, I have button up shirts going for like $9 uh, and they still sit for weeks. So it's not exactly like a bread and butter brand for me anymore, but I do pick it up when it's something like this. So anything flannel or Western style has been doing extremely well, especially if I put work wear at the end of the description, it really does help and it drives a lot more traffic. So this was a woman in XL. Uh, I picked this up for about 50 cents in my local thrift store and it did sell for $14 after three weeks. So not complaining. Next up, we have an Irish style t-shirt. Uh, I'm going to mess up this name. I'm sorry if somebody knows this. McMenonis. Um, so I posted this, picked this up for 50 cents. Uh, I posted it and immediately, like I'm talking within 24 hours, I had four messages, all from international sellers. Uh, ask if I could find a way to maybe change shipping or something like that. I posted it for $12 and it did sell within 48 hour window. Uh, but I guess this is a brand to be on the lookout for. And if you do find it, I would definitely post it as international because it does sell quickly and a lot of people are asking. Next up, we have a Wrangler button up, uh, but it's the Rancher style. So I know a lot of people don't like Wrangler. It doesn't sell for them, but the Rancher does extremely well for me. Uh, it's a button up. Uh, it's a large tall. Uh, the cool thing about this though is it is pearl snap so pearl snap regardless of the condition almost always sells between 12 and 20 dollars depending on if it's damaged torn or something like that so this one actually has some big splotches on it right so it, i posted for 14 it sold for 12 sent me an offer and i accepted it within 12 hours now one thing i like to do when it's something like this is i do follow up and the reason i say that is i always like to make sure that the buyer knows so i don't end up with a return saying oh i didn't want, look at all the photos or something so just something to be aware of make sure to remind the buyer Next up, just a no-name brand, uh, Leisure Lounge, but it's a Texas shirt. So pick this up, 50 cents. Uh, it sold for 14, but it took almost three months. So oddly enough, it had almost no views, and then somebody just bought it outright. So not complaining, uh, just one of those unique, anything Texas flag, for some reason, Texas for me does extremely well. I have California stuff that does okay, but a lot of states don't sell very well. Texas is not one of them. They are probably the top state where a lot of people buy it. Next up, a Capcom shirt. This one's actually pretty dope. Uh, it has a giant Ryu. Um, it actually has the name brand Capcom, and it's a huge size. It's a 3XL. So <laughs> I picked this up about two months ago, uh, and I posted it for $20, because I saw a lot of comps going between 18 and 22. I just took the average right, put it at 20, and I had somebody buy it, right? But I don't have required immediate payment, and they didn't pay for it, so I took it down. A new person sends me an offer 18. I accept it. They didn't buy it. And then it sat, right? So it sat for a few weeks. Uh, and I finally just accepted the offer for 12. I was happy to get rid of it at the point of, you know, maybe it just isn't meant to be. Uh, but Capcom does do extremely well. Uh, video games and anime do well. Uh, next up is a little bit of unique design. Uh, this one's actually a Goose t-shirt, Australia. So never heard of this brand. Turns out this brand's actually pretty good. Um, this was the third one I picked up afterwards. Um, but all of them have sold, I picked this one up for 50 cents, sold for $14 international. So again, sometimes brands don't do as well, but they might do well internationally. So just something to be on the lookout for, make sure you look them up. So that was all for eBay. I had seven total orders. Next up, Columbia, bread and butter, especially if it's PFG. PFG always does extremely well for me. So I posted this about a week ago for $12, sold full asking. Again, bread and butter band, easy to sell. Next up, we have a Tom Bahama Relax. So Relax does matter. I'll get into that. So good size, 2XL. It's actually a single stitch. So one thing cool about Relax that you should be on the lookout for is they're almost all single stitch all the way around. So just something you want to be on the lookout for. This one actually did have a hole somewhere. Can't find it right now, <laughs> but it did have a hole. I made sure the buyer knew about it. Uh, so normally these sell for about 25 bucks. I posted it for 18. It's paid for last only sat a week, so not complaining. 
Next up, pick this up for 50 cents. It's an actual The Empire Strikes Back. It's supposed to look more like a pencil, you know, cartoony. It is Star Wars. Bad size though, it's a medium. So I picked this up and it sat for about 30 days, which is really annoying in the sense of, I posted it for $7, so I thought it was gonna be quick. Uh, it ended up just sitting there and somebody finally did buy it for $7. Now this one, good brand to be on the lookout for, definitely. So an actual master's polo. Picked this up for 50 cents in my thrift store. Oddly enough, I saw two different resellers look at it and put it back. So I checked it, picked it up, looked at it. Everything looks fine. It's a name brand, no holes, no stains, no tears. Posted it for $25, only took a week to sell, full asking. So Masters is definitely a brand you wanna be on the lookout for. Next up, we got a Salty Crew. So Salty Crew is kind of like Guy Harvey, but it's usually a little bit cheaper. But right now in the summer months, it has been selling off the shelves. This is like my 14th one, and they don't sit very long. So this one only sat for three days. And I asked for $15, got it full asking. And I'm telling you, Salty Crew is something to definitely be on the lookout for. It is doing extremely well this summer, at least for me. So just a good pickup. And last but not least, a Jeep, an actual Jeep. It has it all over all the different tabs, all the different zippers, uh, duffel bag. Picked this up at the bins, probably paid... I don't know, three bucks for it. It's a little bit heavier. But Jeep brand stuff has been doing extremely well for me. I'm talking, I've sold Gildan for the loom, not even Jeep, actual brands for $15 shirts. This just sold for 30 bucks, right? And it's just a duffel bag, it's used. Uh, it has a little bit of you know wear and tear, person didn't care. So definitely on the lookout for something Jeep. But I can honestly say, again, I'm having these weird days where I'm getting zero sales and the next day I'm getting 20 sales. <laughs> So I don't know what's going on, if it's just me or if it's all of eBay. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But other than that, have a great day. Oh, yeah.